Abortion rights rallies continued around the country and in the Queen City today. This one was some intense uh, added tension in Uptown, and the event at First Ward Park was this afternoon. It was actually officially canceled, but many people still showed up anyway. Queen City News reporter Sydney Heiberger is live there tonight. Sydney, what do we know about possible safety threats to that event? Yeah, Robin, organizers told me that with recent violence around the country and some security threats to other abortion rallies around the state, this event was canceled more so out of an abundance of caution. But as you said, that still did not stop many people from showing up here today anyway. My body, my choice. Rumors about a possible Proud Boys appearance didn't stop these protesters from making their voices heard. Proud Boy like people, their ilk. We see them six days a week, so it didn't scare me. Tina Marshall founded the Black Abortion Defense League and helped organize Sunday's rally. She took to social media, inviting others to protest with her, regardless of the event being officially canceled saying, quote, I'm not afraid, stand with me. We were kind of unclear on um, if there was actually a perceived threat or a real threat. We did our due diligence and found no substantial uh, um, evidence of that. God is pro-choice. What did come as a surprise was the appearance of Flip Benham and a group of anti-abortion activists. Why are you hiding? The groups exchanged heated words and things got tense as pro-choicers attempted to block out graphic anti-abortion imagery. It's a battle over who is Lord and whose laws reigns. These little ones out here that believe all this silly nonsense and can't get enough people out here to follow them. Um, it's, a, it's a joke. I am not afraid. For now, abortion remains legal in North Carolina. The goal of these ralliers to keep it that way. Thank you. We could be a voting block and um, we could get a lot of things done from the local level all the way up to NCGA, up to Washington, D.C. Now, an abortion rally in Raleigh was canceled yesterday for the same reason, citing a security threat and rising national violence. Though, again, we have not found any evidence that there was a specific threat to the event today in Charlotte. I'm live in Uptown, Sydney Heiberger, Queen City News.